Okay, well, we made it back from the Goodwill bins and only spent, well, the first time I spent 18, I went back in and spent two more dollars. So I spent $20 total, got one sack full, completely full of stuff, and it's amazing stuff. So let's get into the haul so I can show you everything that I got. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from yesterday's picking video you seen when I went to the Goodwill bins. And I only ended up spending $20 total. So not too bad at all. I'm pretty excited to show you guys everything that I got. So let's get into the haul. So when I went back in, I spent $2.00. And uh, this was one of the things that I got. Yeah, it's Little Red Riding Hood. Stinking cute and adorable, right? Love her. Not only is she Little Red Riding Hood, though, you flip her over. You flip her over and she's Grandma. She's Little Red Riding Hood with the Grandma. She's a Topsy Derby doll. Not only is she Grandma, she's the Big Bad Wolf as well. <laughs> So it is a three piece doll set. So stinking cute and adorable. I love the um, stitched on faces. I just think it's so cute and vintage. So I picked her up. Then I picked up a whole bag of things, mostly trolls. There's some clowns. Let's, I'll show you the clowns first. So this was one of the clowns so cute it is made in mexico it has its little made in mexico sticker on the bottom or i mean on the back it's like a paper mache kind of isn't it really neat with its rings i just thought that was so cute and adorable and then this clown so cute absolutely love it and then this clown I'm probably going to sell them in just like a three piece set, sell them as a, all three together because I just think they're so cute and adorable. Aren't they cute? Especially if you like clowns. I know some people don't, but a lot of people do like clowns. So that's why I picked them up. Then I picked up some trolls. This gal, this one, this one. This one, let me cut this one's hair, oh my, <laughs> poor thing. And then this girl, so cute. So there's one, two, three, four, five total, five trolls. So that, I got all that. I don't think that's bad for spending $2 for all that. But then, um, I got some really good stuff. Okay, so, like I said, I only spent $20 total on everything, including that stuff I just showed you. <laughs> okay, so some of the stuff is wrapped up because it is glass. I got this beautiful, beautiful pink depression glass vase. I love the pattern. The crisscross pattern, it is so pretty. There's no chips or cracks. It's in excellent condition. And for summertime, I just thought this would be so pretty to put flowers and set it on your table. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I picked that glass face up. Then I picked up
I picked up this beautiful, there we go. oh, careful, Missy, glass hen on a nest. So pretty. Thanks to Alex. Thank you, Alex. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I don't know who made it, but it's, you know, pink depression glass. It's an antique, so so pretty absolutely love it so that was one of them and then i picked up one more one more piece of pink depression glass and it is right here it is absolutely stunning it has the metal lid i like how thick it is there's no chips or cracks it's so pretty and I like it. I like the handle. Isn't it gorgeous? So, yeah, those were the three pieces of the pink. Um, oh, it does have a little bit of wear on the lid. I just noticed that, but that's okay. Um, those were the p pieces of the pink depression glass I picked up. I left the rest of them for some other collectors. And then I did find another piece of glass. I found this in the hard goods. I cannot believe this was in the hard goods, not broken or anything. I don't think this glows under black light. I thought it did, but I don't think it does um, when I tested it at the bins. Uh, but it's all glass, even the base. It needs cleaned up. It's really, really, ooh, careful, Missy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a really, really dirty, but it's so pretty and it's like etched. Once I get it cleaned up, it'll look really nice. So I'm gonna set that right there. And then I picked up this vintage measuring cup, Tupperware, still in really good condition, both the paints. I picked up this little bowler. All the, like this will go into a treasure bag. I like how he has a bobblehead. He's wood, vintage, and he's a bowler dude. So he'll go into a treasure bag and then I picked up a vintage girly candle absolutely love it in the box still in the box um, never been opened or burnt which is awesome and it's a cute little Christmas bear mm, this is girly on there I thought that was cool. That was a good find. And I picked my son up. My oldest son, Trenton, is um, back into collecting baseball, football, and different kinds of sports cards. So this was in the, the bins as a bag of cards. So I thought he would like that. So I'm going to give those to him. And then I picked up a little rubber duck. I'm going to start picking these up in the Goodwill bins, actually, when I find them, because they don't weigh anything. And I'm going to start ducking Jeeps. Ducking, yep, I'm going to put ducks on Jeeps. <laughs> I think that's such a cute idea and a nice tradition, and I'm going to keep it going. So I got ducked at the bins um, yesterday. Somebody put a duck on my Jeep and had a little card on there. It's just to make you smile. There's, it's fun. And then I'm really glad that I was looking in the old bins before they took them away, which I was looking in the old bins to help Alex. Poor Alex. I feel so bad for her because somebody stole her cart. Rude. But um, I'm so glad that I was looking in them because I found this vintage Annalise stocking. I love the top quilted part. So adorable. It has a little tail with a little mouse face so cute it still has its original tag it is Anna Lee I don't know if it has a date on there or not but it's I'm sure it has a date on there it's just sewn into it I can't see it but so cute and adorable right absolutely love it I love Anna Lee so much so that went in my cart I always, always, always pick up these padded envelopes whenever I find them, of course, because they're expensive at Walmart. So I picked that up. 
I did find, now if my mom doesn't want this, this one will be for sale. She'll probably tell me just go ahead and sell it because she has a lot of these um, cardboard eggs, but this is a large one. It's very nice and it is stamped on the inside, made in Germany. So it is an older cardboard egg in really, really good condition. Really good condition. Just a little bit of wear from age, but nothing too bad. And isn't that so cute? Little bunny boo boo pulling a cart. Well, the chickens are pulling the cart. He's being the driver, but I just think that's so cute and adorable. So I picked that cardboard egg up. Then I picked up this. Miss Carol found this cute vintage um, Christmas tree. I thought that was adorable. It's like made out of cardboard on the inside. And that looks so cute in your Christmas display. I liked it. <laughs> and then this will go into a linen bag. I don't really, it's 100% wool. Hand woven by Craftsman of the Southwest. It's a, it says it's a blanket, but it's so small. It must be like a sample piece or something. It still has its tag, though. I thought that was kind of neat. Let's see. It's only that big. I was going to put it in a linen bag. Along with these, these will all go into a linen bag as well. These cute little um, crocheted pieces. I like the colors of those, the pink and the blue. Very 50s style. And then I was able to find a fairy lamp in the bins. I was, it's just a home co one, so it's not like a fit in or anything like that, but it doesn't have any chips or cracks and it's really pretty. Um, I like these ones because when you have a light in it, it really, leaves a really beautiful um, pattern on your ceiling and walls. It's really, really, really pretty. All lit up. And look, it looks like crystal. So pretty. Beautiful fairy lamp. And then I was, Miss Carol found me a whole elf collection. Well, part of an elf collection. I found part and then she found part. She found this I think it um, it was from Burger King, it says. I don't not really know what it is, but I thought that was pretty cool, that piece. And then two vintage TV guides. Two vintage TV guides that have ALF on them. And then I found the ALF book and then the ALF plush. So I'm going to sell this all in one lot together. The book, the plush, the two TV guides, and then the record looking thing. Yeah, I thought that would be a fun lot. An elf lot. And then I found a vintage blow mold. Yes, I know it's missing its pumpkin. And I had one in my cart and I'm such a dum dum. I put it back. I wish I wouldn't have put it back because I don't know what I was thinking. It didn't barely weigh anything. I should have just kept it, but it didn't fit on here. It was a little bit too big, so that's why I put it back. But it was still a 1980s Carolina Enterprise pumpkin with a thick, you know, small pumpkin pail. I should have just kept it. So, yeah, bummer. I wish I... That's a regret on my part. My bad. This one is... I don't... I can't read it. It is stamped on the bottom, though. It is it's really, really, really hard to read it. Got my contacts in, but it's so cute and adorable. I will eventually find a pumpkin. I see them all the time, so. Well, now that I say that, I won't find one. Knock on wood. <laughs> uh, okay, so then I picked up. Oh, Miss Carol found me this. So, you seen in my video, I picked up a Monchichi plush. Well, Miss Carol really, really wanted it. And so I gave it to her because she kept finding me Anna Lee. 
Annalie stuff, and she found me this Anna, vintage Annalie advent calendar. So stinking cute and adorable. And this is from 2004, so it's not technically vintage yet. <laughs> I guess in like Etsy standards in a year and a half it will be, but um, it's so cute and adorable, and I love it so much. So I was able to pick that up. And Annalie is very collectible. And one more Annalie. I found this one. She's so cute. What is up with her head? Here we go. Mrs. Claus. And this one's from 1995. This one is from 1995. And it still has its original paper tag as well. It was originally $37 in the store. In Yonkers. And then I found a whole bunch of these Madame Alexander miniature dolls. There's a whole bunch of them. So th I found these three. Then there's more in here. I just don't know. I'll have to get to them. They fell in the sack somewhere. But I picked up these two fruits to add to the beaded fruit bag that I already have. And that will be for sale um, tomorrow. All this stuff that you see will be for sale. Well, tonight, actually. It'll be for sale tonight in tonight's live sale. If you don't, if you like all this stuff, um, you don't want to miss it. Tonight's live sale is at 6 p.m. Central Time. Okay, so then, oh, here's another one of those, here's some more of those dolls. So, so far that's five. There we go, five of them. Six, six of them, here's another one. And I picked up a whole bag of vintage Barbie clothes. There's a whole bag. And, you know, these are not, there are accessories in there too, but they're, there's some vintage and some new. And some of the Monster High dolls didn't have clothes. And actually, you know, some of these might be their clothes in here. I don't know. I just picked up what I could find in the bins and I stuffed it all in the back so there's tons and tons but let me show you like some of them are vintage some of the outfits are vintage Let's see isn't that so cute that little jumpsuit and like this there's all kinds of different ones in there that's probably to go to one of the Monster High dolls. I'm assuming it does. I'll probably take that out and put that on one of her. And then I don't know if that one goes on one of the Monster High dolls. I'll, I might dress the Monster High dolls, actually. To see. See which one because I got a bunch of monster high dolls too but anyway like I said some are vintage some are new like this one's vintage that dress this is a really cool one uh, this green one so yeah there's all kinds you know it's it's just a full full bag so then this is going to go into a treasure bag. It's a patch. I just thought it was really cute with a Native American Indian. This is going to go into a treasure bag. Vintage Papa Smurf. I think he's from, yep, 1981. His tag says 1981. Vintage Papa Smurf. 
And then this is also going to go into a treasure bag. Pluto. He's like a flocked Pluto with these cute little ears. Cute little floppy ears. <laughs> and this will probably go into a treasure bag. I really, it reminds me of like Halloween. I don't know, is it Bat Cat? It's got a couple little doinkies on it, you know, little paint wear here and there, but it rem it's like a folk art kitty cat. It's an, an ornament, but I just thought it was super cool. I don't know. It's weird like me. Then I did find a vintage hanky. This is going to be put back for a friend of mine. She likes the hankies. And this will go into a treasure bag. Cute little gnome stickers. Here's another one of those uh, Madame Alexander dolls. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. Seven. I'll be able to sell those in a lot. Oh, eight. Here's another one. Eight. Here's another hanky. That'll go into a treasure bag, this little Tupperware container. Here's another vintage doll. This one's not a Madame Alexander doll, I don't think. It's wrote on, somebody wrote on the back of it. They had it in the box like this, which is a good display piece, but I thought that was so cute. So I might lot her up with another doll if I have one. I found two of these vintage, what are they, creamer? Did they have creamers in them at one time? I don't know, they're little cow things. They're so kitschy, cute, and adorable. They're plastic, vintage plastic. And they say, have a happy day. So fun. Kitschtastic right here. Loving it. <laughs> And another Anna Lee. This one's in a bag. Let's take it out in the bag. It's a vintage Anna Lee Angel with her halo. She don't have her tag no more. Somebody removed her tag, so I don't know what year she's from. This, her tag would have been right there. That's sad. She looks to be a little bit of an older one, judging by the face, the way that it's painted, but it's so cute. Annalie Angel Baby. And I did pick up two t-shirts, one for me, one for Luke. I picked up this one for me. Alex found it. Thank you again, Alex. It's Guns N' Roses, so this one will be mine. And then I picked up this one for Luke because he likes the the Hurley t-shirts, the soft ones like I like. And this one is his size. So I know he will really like this one. See, Luke? Thank you. You're welcome. And I picked up this. I thought if you were a Pisces, you would really like to hang this on your gallery wall. It's really fun and kitschy. Look at those fishies. So cute. It's a little poem. And it still has its original sticker from the store it was sold at many years ago. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. And this, Alex found a whole thing of vintage photos so these are going to be going to my mother she's going to be super excited my mom is obsessed with old black and white photos and this is so many there's so 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 many in here like look at these layers aren't they so much fun i mean there's so many fun different ones in here i love it 
There's ones of kids, ones of some older folks. Um, I don't know. Just all kinds of different different photos. And they're all black and white, so I thought that was cool. My mom will love that. And then I also picked up my mom. My mom likes old books. And I thought this one would look good sitting on a shelf. It's called The Story of the Other Wise Man. And it's a really old book. Books by Henry Van Dyke. Copyright in 1895. So this is well over 100 years old. Really fun book. So that will be going to my mom as well. Those will be going into a goodie bag, vintage stickers. Okay, so, and oh, and then this, or treasure bag, sorry. Rather, treasure bag. This leather, little yellow leather case that will be going in a treasure bag. Then, like I said, I found, oh, one more thing before I get to this. Um, a Mexican uh, vintage yo-yo type thing. It's a yo-yo. Look how big it is and thin. I never seen one like this before. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, Goodwill a long time ago was asking five bucks for it. So I thought that was a cool piece. Really neat. Look, that's what I was talking about. And it's pretty old. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And then um, I found a bunch of Monster High dolls. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I found six of these dolls. Like some of them have tails, some of them have more well, one of them has more than one arms. Are these Monster High dolls? I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit re more research. I'm not... Um, they're marked on the back. I just can't see what it says. I can't see what it says, but, like, see, she has six arms. Oh, one of her arms must have came off. I don't know where her arm went. I took all the complete ones. Dang it. I know it was complete. I don't know where it went now because it's not in the sack. Um, anyways, the other ones that were not complete, I know that people buy them, you know, and replace their parts or and stuff. But my friend that met me up there, Miss Carol, she was also wanting the dolls as well. So I just went ahead and gave her, cause she didn't care if hers were complete or not. So I just went ahead and gave her all the ones that were not complete, I guess, besides the one, he's miss it's missing a hand. Um, so I thought that, you know, she wanted them too. So I, I just went ahead and shared and gave them to her. Cause I here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them and I thought that was, you know, to be fair, I'd give her those. And, yeah, so that is my haul. Like I said, I only ended up spending $20 for all that stuff. I don't think I did too bad at all um, with all the vintage Annalie, the blow molds, the Monster High dolls, all the Madame Alexander dolls, everything. I think I did quite well. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well, too. Um, and I can let you know if it will be available in a live sale or if I will sell it outright. 
but most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which will be tonight. I host them every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time, so you're going to want to make sure you hit that bell button and subscribe. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Um, because sometimes I will just have random pop-up live sales throughout the week, and you don't want to miss those. They are a lot of fun. If you like this stuff, that's where they, it will be for sale. So hit that bell button and subscribe. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.